Hey, welcome everyone to the uh, harm example here. Um, in this uh, this video, I'll be going over the two or well, the main uh, mode you're going to use when uh, when using the harms. Okay, they're called the equation of motion, EOM mode. Uh, I'm also going to demonstrate the range unknown mode. I haven't seen a lot of videos that demonstrate how this works or uh, have seen it or you know, I hadn't seen it in action until I actually did it. So, uh, hopefully, uh, hopefully this is instructional. But, uh, okay, so I'll go ahead and fence in. By the way, if you hadn't seen the uh, harm, uh, harm and uh, HAD uh, video, I'd go ahead and watch that before this, uh, just so you can get familiar with all the all the modes. But uh, anyway, I'll fence in here for my uh, C admission. So master arm on. Air to ground, go ahead and power on my AGM 88s. Okay, I'm going to set up uh, just for uh, demonstration here. I'm not going to use the head. Here you can see that the uh, SA2 is actively emitting. Okay, I mentioned that in the last video, it's red. Okay, go to my test page, switch that out with the weapon. Okay, now I am in uh, position mode. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and switch station three to equation of motion. Okay, right there. I can again, switch that with my uh, as long as it's SOI, my weapons page. I can switch that with the pinky switch or the missile step uh, button. Okay, so EOM. Now what I'm going to do is uh, uh, select my steer point. I'm going to hit this SA2 here. Okay, and uh, now I, I don't have it set up as its own steer point, but uh, I'm going to use the, the little trick I showed you in the last video by just uh, going over center of that and TMS up. I get the steer point there, so uh, that's steer point 58 set on station 3. You go to say that's a SA2. I know it's an SA2 because uh, I uh, checked it out in the recon. Okay. And then, uh, so I'm all set up on station three. I'm going to set uh, station seven as my, oops, you can see the missile step button also. That's your uh, pinky switch on your joystick. Zooms that in. But, uh, I'm just going to use the pinky switch here to switch to range unknown. Okay, You see that it does have the uh, uh, steer point there, but that doesn't, that doesn't matter. Okay. Uh, switch back to station three, okay, and uh, I'm all fenced in, ready to go. SMS page, I got the ready status and power on. Switch back to my HSDs, so I have some situational awareness. Uh, you can see my altitude; I am fairly high. Uh, right here, I, I am a little low on speed because I've been climbing, and uh, I'll unpause. I am. I already have launch authority, okay? I'm within 60 nautical miles of this. And so I'll unpause. Head and turn towards the target. And uh, put my flight path marker between the pull up, or max pull up and mint pull up. And magnum. Magnum. Okay. It's gonna turn off that target. Set my steer point here so that uh, I turn around and uh, cheat here and watch your missile by uh, doing uh, shift seven. Okay, otherwise there's not, you know, there's not really a way unless you're visual on the SAM to confirm that it hits. Hopefully, you can still hear me here. See at the top there the orbit camera AGM eighty eight. Uh, if that finds a target, it'll switch to uh, target locked. See if it does it. It's going to turn on here within, f there we go. Within five nautical miles, it turns its seeker head on, target detected and locked. And there we go. Splash. So that's it. And you can see that up here, after I fired, uh, it switched. If you want to go back into the video, the, uh, the information switched from below this line to above it. 
Okay, so let's go to range unknown. This is going to require a little bit of maneuvering on my part. It's going to trim my aircraft out here. Get my speed back up. And uh, so in this, uh, you can see on my HSD, I have that SA-3 there, that closest one. What I'm actually going to do, and uh, what I wouldn't suggest doing, but I'm going to pretend like I don't know it's there. I'm going to fly within its threat, uh, within its threat circle, get a launch, and then I'll show you how this range unknown works. Uh, it's pretty, uh, it's dummy proof. Uh, you just so in the last video, in the uh, harm tutorial, all that you do is point your nose at that SAM launch and fire. Okay. And what happens in range unknown is that the uh, the uh, seeker head in your harm, okay, turns on immediately after launch. Okay, and it just goes after the first thing that it sees. You can see that I have the wider box here. And it is blinking because uh, I have steer point four selected. But, uh, that's not gonna, that's not gonna matter. You'll see here. And fly towards this SA three. I don't have it. Uh, don't have it selected here again. Okay. Fly into this. I can, you know, this uh, this airspace around the SA-2 site is now clear. I took out the uh, the radar there, so they can't fire at me. So, just flying along here, happily minding my own business, and I get a missile launch. Okay, I'm gonna look. There it is. Sorry, there it is. Turn my nose at it. Magnum. Chaff, flare, chaff, Defensive. flare, chaff, flare, chaff, flare, chaff, flare, down. chaff, flare, oh. that one's sour, chaff, flare, chaff, flare, okay, and then shift seven, okay, it lost its target, so it's, uh, my harm went sour, but, um, well, usually that has worked. So, uh, but that's for, that's range unknown. It's a purely defensive mode. Uh, no, no promises there that it's going to work. But uh, uh, just so you know, the, the times that I've used it, of course, it wouldn't work in this video. But times I've used it, it tends to be uh, fairly accurate. So uh, uh, can use that mode. Just to, uh, uh, just a purely defensive mode. Okay. So, uh, thanks for watching. That's, uh, that's it. I'm, uh, Arizona is what it's called if you're out of, uh, that's the brevity term for being out of the, uh, anti radiation missiles. I am Cat 1, so I'll go to Cat 1. And, uh, survived this, so fly back to base here. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Uh, hopefully, uh, hopefully that RUK works for you. <laughs> All right.